everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel my name is Jenna before we get started into today's video that is totally different please make sure to like and subscribe to become part of my YouTube family so today's video is very different um, reason why is I did not do this with my son just because I had like a whole bunch of issues and fun stuff there um, so my son Maverick will be eight months old on February 1st. Today is Wednesday, January 27th. Yes, that is correct. As you see the title of this video, um, I, okay, we're gonna get personal. I have two children. If you're a subscriber, you know this. I have a three-year-old and almost eight-month-old, and I have had two miscarriages. So I had a miscarriage before my daughter, and then I had one before my son, so in between my kids. We are going to take a pregnancy test today because my boobs hurt. Yes, I am breastfeeding. Okay, so here's the other thing. My son will be eight months old and I have been exclusively breastfeeding him. So he also has baby food, of course, but he has not had any formula, nothing, no bottles. I'm really bad at that. I really need to get him on a bottle. Um, different story. The reason why I need to take a test is because my boobs have been hurting and it's a different kind of hurt. It is, it reminds me of like when I found out I was pregnant kind of hurt. Like they're just really sore and tender and it's not like a normal breastfeeding thing. And I will say I have not gotten my period yet. So this very well could be like my period is coming, but like I feel crampy, I feel bloated. Like I felt nauseous like a week ago and yeah, with both my kids, I was super sick. So we are going to take a test and it's like one of these cheapy ones because, you know, when you're, I, they're just, they can be so expensive when you buy the other kind. I swear I have like probably like a thousand, like thousands of dollars in freaking pregnancy tests because with trying for so long with each kid and yeah. So we're going to take this test. You're not going to see me pee, but I'm going to go use the restroom. I'm already in here. And, um, we're gonna see what this is. Okay, so I just went to the bathroom. I'm not going to show you my pee on camera because that's disgusting. And I didn't pick the best cup either. So here we go, new test, completely never been opened. We're gonna open it. We're just gonna see what's going on. So here it is, brand new test. Sorry, I don't know if that'll, can you see will that focus? I'm using my phone, it does not focus well, but it's the HCG. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like anxious about this, but I am because like I've seen so many negatives, so I'm like, it's probably gonna be negative. But like, I would literally like, hold on, let me just put this in there. <laughs> Gotta make sure there's enough on there. All right, that should be enough. Okay, I've got it right here. Oh, don't drop it. Okay. Oh my goodness. Hope that's enough on there. Okay. So while we're waiting for that result, let's have a little chat of why I feel the way I feel. So I have lots of different feelings <laughs> because yes, I have an almost three-year-old and an almost eight-month-old. Well, by the time you're seeing this, they're both three years old and eight months. Um. But it's just nuts. Um, could you imagine, like, if I was pregnant? <laughs> like, that would just be nuts. Like, that'd be crazy. Yeah. Maverick would be, like, 17 months old and a baby and then, like, a three and a half, almost four-year-old. Life would be crazy. <laughs> it would just be, it'd be chaotic. Um, I've always wanted my kids close in age, but... And we just got Maverick to, like, sleep in his crib all night long. But still, it would just be so nuts. You know what I mean? I feel like it's going to be negative. Like, I, I've i already got myself, like, it's going to be negative because, like, we tried to get pregnant with Savannah before she was a year old, and I was breastfeeding, and it just didn't happen. But it happened, like, literally the month when I stopped breastfeeding. So, I mean, if that tells you anything. Then that pregnancy resulted in a miscarriage. And then, I think it was, yeah, it was... It was six months later, yeah, six months later. It was both times after each miscarriage, six months until I got pregnant with Savannah 
and Maverick. Like the very first time I got pregnant, I was trying for, we were trying, sorry, we were trying for oh, three months and then I got pregnant. And then it was seven months until I got pregnant with Savannah after my miscarriage because I had to have a, I had to have a DNC. I did it naturally on my own. And yeah, that messed me up big time. And then uh, Savannah, I got pregnant literally right when I stopped breastfeeding her. So like the next month after she turned one, I got pregnant. And yeah, I lost that baby at 10 weeks, I believe. I was supposed to be 10 weeks, but it was, you know, happening. That was rough, that was hard too. Um, and then I got pregnant six months later with Maverick. And I'm just chit-chatting here, waiting for this to happen. <sighs> I'm just sharing all my thoughts with you because I don't know. Like we have not TMI used protection at all because I just have such a difficulty getting pregnant. So it's like, why even do it, you know? Then we want more kids. You kind of get it. Um, let's look at this. I'm trying to like not look at it because I'm grabbing it. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't have the pen. <laughs> That's good. Okay. We're going to look at this together. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> it's going to be negative. Like I already know it's going to be negative because I'm breastfeeding. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Ooh. Hopefully it like focuses. All right. What is that? That looks like a big fat negative to me. Yeah, sure does. Let's take a peek. Let me see. Yep, there's no faint line or anything. So yeah, no baby number three. I don't know. No, there's no faint line. I'm like the queen of seeing fake, uh, fake, faint lines because obviously, you know, for so long I was always looking, but it looks like there's nothing there. So no baby number three. It's probably just my period. I haven't had a period in like a year and a half. Um, yeah, so it's probably over a year and a half. Yeah, so it's probably just my period, which is just lovely. Um, yeah, so that, there we go. That's that's the video. Um, yeah, we are. I, I get a lot of people that ask, like, um, are we going to have more kids? And yes, we are. Um, I would like, uh, if you could pick, I'd like a boy and a girl just because I never had a sister. So I'm going to have a sister, but I think it'd be cute for Maverick to have like a brother. And I always wanted four kids. So we're always trying to get like, we're like, you know, some people are like, oh yeah, we're actively trying. And like, we're always trying, but we don't like say it or announce it or like purposely do it because when we purposefully try, that's when we get disappointed and have bad results. Like, yes, this test was negative and it is kind of sad. It is sad, you know, cause you're like, oh, you know, you get that thought like, oh, my boobs hurt and this and that, like it could be baby number three and then there's nothing. So yeah, this is me being vulnerable with you guys and bringing you into my personal life, which I haven't, I mean, I have obviously like brought you into my home with my cleaning videos and I've done Q and A's, but I've never done something like this. And um, I just really wanted to, you just never know. And I wanted to capture the moment if it were to happen. Yeah, so basically, yes, we're always trying. We're not trying, trying on purpose, but if it happens, it happens. When it happens, it'll happen. That's just kind of how we are. The reason why we're like that, like with the trying, is because we don't want to set ourselves up to be hurt because we have been hurt in the past. So yeah, I'm just talking, <laughs> but um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, yeah, maybe you'll see another one. You probably will see another one of these. I don't see it happening anytime soon because I'm probably going to get my period at some point. Um, if you guys like these type of videos, let me know in the comments down below. Like I know a lot of women can relate and they like seeing like other women go through this and the struggle. Like I have a couple of friends on here that have shared their uh, TTC journeys and their pregnancy journeys. So I just kind of wanted to share it with you guys because 
everybody's is different. Everybody's TTC baby and fertility journal is journal journey is different for everybody. So I just wanted to share with you guys my journey and what we're going through as a family. Like I said, if you like this video, let me know in the comments down below. That way I know if you guys like this. If not, if you don't like it, then let me know, I guess. I don't know. So um, please make sure to like and subscribe to become part of my YouTube family. And if you want to stay along for the journey of our family in the future, yeah. And I'll see you guys in the next one, I guess. Bye. I've never really been the one who's worried. Always been the one who's keeping it cool